Uh, low B12 decreases your ability to focus and to remember things. Matter of fact, in seniors, vitamin B12 deficiency, which affects on average one out of every four seniors in America, um, that actually leads to a shrinkage of the brain. They've done MRI studies, right. and when seniors are deficient in vitamin B12, their brain can actually shrink up to a third. Hmm. In medical terms, we call it atrophy, so the brain actually shrinks, and of course that affects memory, and it actually is one of the causes of dementia mm -hmm. you find in seniors. So that's a common cause. Another area is medications. Mm -hmm. People sometimes don't realize that the medications that they're using can lead to poor memory. Mm -hmm. So for example, you see it in people on medications, like those used for seizures, for example, mm -hmm. um, sometimes high blood pressure medications. So you should always check to see the medications you're taking is one of the side effects, decreased memory or cognitive function. Mm -hmm. So what about hormones in general? For Let's specifically talk about women. Women comes in, you know, she's kind of menopausal, uh, and she's talking about her memory problems. Do you look at hormones as a cause or just as one more problem that's causing some other symptoms like hot flashes right. and mood swings? Or can actually hormonal imbalance cause memory problems? Oh, absolutely. I mean, with menopausal women, drops in estrogen, progesterone, testosterone, even thyroid can certainly cause memory impairment. Um, and it's one of the common symptoms of menopause, and that's decreased memory and cognitive function. They've also, remember, done studies in women on estrogen replacement, and it is one of the few things that's been shown in menopausal women to improve their cognitive function. Mm -hmm. Even for some women, studies show it decreases their risk of Alzheimer's disease. So mm -hmm. these hormones have powerful effects on the brain. They actually help your brain to make the neurotransmitters, the brain chemicals, which you need not just for uh, mood, mm -hmm. but for memory as well. Well, let's go back to this dementia versus the Alzheimer's thing. When would you know what's different? You know, because people may think, oh, I'm just going through age dementia right. versus Alzheimer's. I mean, very different things. Yes. Well, the common term you use is age-related memory impairment. So or, instead of dementia, or, or age-associated memory impairment. Okay. And that's basically where people get older, their cognitive function starts to decline. Mm -hmm. And these people really can be helped again with diet, mm -hmm. with nutritional supplements, hormone balance. Then you have this whole big category category called dementia, mm -hmm. and Alzheimer's is in that category. Okay. And there's different degrees of, you know, severity of memory loss, but of course Alzheimer's being the most severe. Sure. So now you're talking about nutrition and exercise. Now we need to go back a few steps and talk about digestion. Yes. Because, I mean, you cannot properly absorb your food or your supplements if digestion is poor. And when you are stressed out or as we get older and acid production decreases, then we have an issue with absorption. Well, that's true. In holistic medicine, in naturopathic medicine, we always look at the digestive tract. So as people age, often their ability to break down foods, absorb the nutrients from their foods or their supplements decreases. And so that's a problem. You can take all these things, but if you can't absorb it, you're not going to get the nutritional status your cells need, including your brain cells. So as holistic doctors, we always look at improving a patient's digestion, even to help their memory. Mm -hmm. That absolutely is true.